Hi, welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I really want to thank you for subscribing, family and friends, and subscribers. Today I am going to show you how to make chicken enchiladas. This is one of my personal favorites. My aunt showed me years ago at my grandma's house. She showed me how to do it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, first of all, you would have to boil some chicken, and I've already boiled some chicken here. Just boil chicken for like about 30 minutes, and then go ahead and take it out of the pan. It's optional that you can go ahead and use a cooked rotisserie chicken. That would be absolutely fine, but I went ahead and boiled it. It's a little more economical. Now we're gonna go ahead and shred the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding, and um, we're gonna shred it all up, and we are going to get this all set up. Okay, I'm finishing up the shredding. You can actually shred it however you want it. It could be thin or you could leave it thick. It's literally up to your preference. I am done shredding. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Okay, we're getting ready to do the sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and open a can of cream of chicken. I know that my aunt used cream of mushroom. You can use cream of mushroom, but I think that cream of chicken has more flavor. So you go ahead and put the whole can of cream of chicken in there. And then I am going to get a cup of that wonderful uh, chicken broth from the boiled chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and get this flame on low, maybe medium high. And then I'm going to start whisking. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put the half cup of uh, milk in there. And we're going to start stirring around so it gets a little nice and thick in. And we're going to go ahead and let it get blended. And then we're going to go ahead and add the sour cream is the last thing that we're going to add. It's going to make it nice and creamy and rich. Okay, I put the half a cup of sour cream in and we're just stirring with a whisk and we want to get it nice and creamy. There it is, it's getting like a light color. It looks beautiful, that's what you want. And then you don't want to cook the sour cream too long. You want to take it off the stove and just let it sit there. It's already done, but I love pepper so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a tiny bit of pepper in there, maybe a dash, maybe about a fourth teaspoon. Stir that up and it is done. That is your main sauce there. Next, I am going to assemble the tortillas. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start by spraying our pan. Um, it's a nonstick pan, but you know, I don't trust them. So go ahead and spray. I have some olive oil here. You can go ahead and do uh, whatever you prefer. I just like spreading it all over because I wanna make sure it doesn't stick. Okay, set that aside. You're going to need a towel or more than one towel. This is gonna be a process here. I've already got a low flame and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of cooking oil. And we are going to start frying our corn tortillas one by one. I'm gonna go ahead and make a small batch about this size, but you can go ahead and just double the recipe that I'm doing and we are watching this closely. You wanna make sure you cook the tortilla because it gives it a better flavor. And so it's gonna hit in just a little bit. And we'll watch it. It's taking a little while. Now, if you want to skip this step and you don't like the oil, or you don't like the vegetable oil, you can go ahead and use coconut oil or any oil that you want. But um, if you wanna skip this step and you don't want to fry the tortillas, you can also just go ahead and use your tortilla like this and dip it into the sauce. But um, this is how I do it, so hopefully you wanna try it this way or you can try it the way you want it. So it looks pretty good, it is going, uh, it's a nice, and cooked on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead, after that, you're going to pour it in here. 
And I'm gonna stop frying so that I can show you how the process is going to do. We're gonna get this in here and we're gonna go ahead and get one out at a time. Let me see, I didn't know. I'll show it to you on this plate. Okay, normally you would just get it like this. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of salt and pepper on the chicken. And then we're going to go ahead and grab it like this. You can put as much chicken as you want. Um, ah, the bat's about a medium here. And then go ahead and grab some uh, shredded cheese. I have about two cups of cheese there. I have the Colby which is the two cheeses that are mixed. You're gonna roll it up like this, and you're going to set it in the pan, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started and continue on. Okay, I went ahead and rolled six of them. This recipe will make one dozen. I'm gonna go ahead and top the enchiladas with the sauce. You kind of want them smothered. I mean, I love them smothered. And make sure they're full of sauce on top, all through the little crevices. And make sure I've got six in here. And I'm just doing a small batch and then I'll finish that other one up. Okay, so we got it all covered. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and put some cheese all over the top. As much as you want, it's just your, your liking, but I love a lot of cheese. And this is the, the Colby cheese. Make sure it's all over. And here we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a preheated toaster oven. I have it at 400. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there and I am actually gonna just put it for eight minutes. The way you can tell it's done is you'll see a little bubbling going on. You'll see the cheese is melted and it looks wonderful, smells good. Okay, I'm serving them up. Here they go. Mm, they look delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and Serve it with some Mexican rice that I made. This will be on the next show. I am going to show you how to make oh, make some rice to go with your dish. Whoops, accident. <laughs> okay, and if you want, go ahead and peek in there. If you want, um, you can go ahead and sprinkle a few olives on top. I love olives, and this is one of my favorite things is some chili seeds. You can sprinkle it on top, but if you don't want any of this, you can have it just plain. Okay, we are done. I have plated it up and I have served it with some Mexican rice and I have a special guest today. It's my granddaughter. She's here today and this is one of her favorite dishes and we are gonna have her try it. Here you go. And go ahead and try it. And I'm gonna eat this one too. Mmm, delish. Oh my gosh. Um, mm, mm, so delicious. Mm. Thank you, Grandma. Mm, you're welcome. Okay, we are at the end of the show and we've got our scripture of the day. And my granddaughter is going to go ahead and read that for you today. The scripture of the day is Psalms 30, verse 5. His favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the, in the morning. morning. Okay, thanks everyone for watching this show. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for Mexican rice next time. Bye. Have a good day.